Sana, and this is my YouTube channel. So welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this buffet that's behind me. It's for one of my clients, and he wanted something neutral, but he wanted me to put my kind of boho twist on it. So I am going to be using Gravel Road. This piece actually, and also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use fluff as well, because I have this mud cloth stencil, and I've been dying to do a mud cloth themed, themed piece. And so I'm gonna do that on here and you're not seeing things. So this is the top, this is the bottom of the piece that's on the top. This is actually the bottom of the piece. We pulled it apart. So that's the bottom of the piece. This is the top of the piece right here. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure this is completely cleaned and I'm gonna pull that wine rack out and then I'm actually going to put it back together. So I'm gonna put this part back on the bottom of this part. Okay, so before I start painting this, I told you I'm gonna take this wine rack out. And so it is got Allen screws in it. And so I have this Torx little bit. <laughs> these are Torx bits. And I'm going to loosen up these screws here. A lot of times with these, once you loosen it a little bit, you can do the rest by hand. Okay, so the other screws are coming up from the bottom of the buffet. So I'm gonna take my Torx bit and I'm going to loosen these. Again, remember, if you loosen it just a little bit, it comes out. They're pretty easy. You can use an Allen wrench bit if you want, but the smart man, my husband, said that Torx bits are, he prefers them because especially if they're tight, then it's easier, it won't strip it. An Allen wrench is more likely to strip it if it's really tight. So I just grab this bad boy, it's super easy. So now we have pulled out the front of the wine rack. Okay, so I thought that this wine rack would be all one big piece. No worries, it comes out in little pieces. So we just have to play a game of chess to put it back, I guess. Okay, so now I'm gonna attach the bottom to the top and then I'm gonna have my hunky husband help me lift it up because this thing is heavy. Here comes the hunk to help. <laughs> there we go. It's all put together. Thanks, babe. Okay, so this piece has a little bit of a shine to it. So I'm gonna take one of my rad pads, the very fine, and I'm going to actually do a little scuff sand on it. After I'm done doing my scuff sand, I'm actually gonna use Dixie Bell's White Lightning right here. It's a TSP based cleaner on it. After I use my white lightning and clean it really well, then I'm gonna go over it with just water. We wanna get all the residual TSP white lightning off of it that we can. Okay, so I'm done cleaning this, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a base coat of Gravel Road. I'm gonna put a base coat of Gravel Road on this entire piece before we move on to the next part. I'll do it on my way. I'm 
gonna show you what I'm going through Get you out of your comfort zone Cause I need more of the truth right now It's time that you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around like a round I will fight like no other So I have painted this entire piece and then I stenciled the mud cloth stencil on here and when I was putting it back together, so this was like a crazy puzzle, but when I was putting this back together, I decided I really like the wood with the gray and this is just earthy and you know, just boho and so I talked to my client and I think we're going to leave this wood and I'm going to actually put some wood knobs on here to kind of pull it all together and keep that earthy look. Um, I do have to fix some of this because this comes apart in like 70 million pieces. So I'll fix this, but I'm going to use my surf prep sander right now and kind of go over it and distress it just a little bit. We're military families and you never know. And so I always suggest to lightly distress my military family's furniture just because if it was completely solid and it was beautiful, it would be heartbreaking if a mover or something like that nicked it or it got nicked in a move. And so I always just at least lightly distress because then it won't be such a heartbreak if for some reason there gets a nick on it. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distress this very lightly with my surf prep. Two years and you never said a word. And now we said it all. Uh -huh. You know we 
we don't want to fall in love again oh no just think about what we did it never worked no tonight i can tell you you don't care you always know how to get me sentimental you always say the right things like you're pushing me away Okay, so this piece has some pretty deep wood grain in it, kind of right here, and so I really wanna accent that with some white wax. So the first thing I do before I wax and I'm accenting things with wax is I always go over it with my Easy Peasy Spray Wax. This is just clear. You could do another clear wax. I just, this is easy. It's easy for me, and I don't want it to add more shine. So what I do is I go over the piece, and you can take a rag and wipe it in if you want, and I'm just gonna go over it I'm just gonna let that sit and let it dry and then I'm gonna start with the white so wax. So if you can see right here, I had already started to do the white wax and this is the wood grain. So I put white wax on here and I'm just putting it around the edges. I'm gonna give it kind of even more of a feel, like an earthy feel, almost like a, I don't know, restoration hardware, something like that. So that is the look that I'm going for right now is that wood, that white wax and that wood grain and just a little bit of like a whitewash. piece okay guys so I'm done with this piece as you can see it's got the mud cloth stencil it is very anthropology inspired I left this wood and you know I put the inside to the inside right here we've got some barn red and then I also did the Western tapestry so I and then I also did some whitewash with the wax so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe and then hit the bell and you'll get all the latest videos that I put up. And again, all of the products that we used are in the in the description below. Okay guys, so thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video, happy creating and thanks.